All right, tonight I want to talk to you guys and persuade you why your next vacation should be a cruise. I'm going to cover the need for a cruise over a typical vacation, what makes a cruise better than a typical vacation, customer testimony, and what your next step will be. We're going to watch a quick video on a, uh, get a real quick cruise, nothing major, but just something to get you excited. In case anybody wants to know, that's the new Carmel Vista ship. I'm kind of more uh, preference to Carmel. Try that again. All right, experience. I've been on six cruises with my seventh one plan, uh, going on the Carnival Magic in January 13th. Uh, for me, it's not just a cruise, but it's a lifestyle and it's an experience. The need for a cruise. Most vacations are not all-inclusive, and some may argue that cruises are not completely all-inclusive. But traditional vacations, you got to pay for your hotel, your car rental, your food, any activities you want to do. They all have to be paid separately. There's no guarantee on what food you're going to eat or what activities you could do. And all this is going to do is cause stress and boredom. You're on vacation. Why do you want to think about whatever you have to do? The satisfaction is to go on a cruise. An all-inclusive vacation. No stress, no worrying what to do, where to eat. Yeah, you might have to choose some excursions and things like that, but it's something you're going to enjoy. It's not the hassle of waiting an hour to figure out what's next. Ten reasons to go on a cruise. Number one, a cruise offers a great value. Number two, you see multiple destinations and unpack only once. You're going to several different islands. Uh, on the slide a few back, we go on cruises that typically hit four islands. And you're seeing four different cultures that you're not ever going to usually see. Uh, Cruise ships are family friendly. They also come in all shapes and sizes from an 80,000 ton ship to almost 400,000 tons. Uh, ships offer a variety of onboard activities. The cruise vacations are easy to plan. You just get with a travel agent or on each of the websites of the cruises and they walk you through everything. It's simple, there's not a lot of thinking involved. It's just writing a payment every once in a while and you're good to go. Uh, ships are like floating cities. I know certain people have been on some of the Royal Caribbean ships that actually have a central park right in the middle of the ship. I mean, that's kind of cool to see New York City in a ship. Uh, number eight, plan an exotic vacation. Number nine, cruising is romantic. And number ten, cruising is social. Visualization. Why would you want to go on a vacation and have to pay for all kinds of odds and ends, lug everything around with you everywhere you go, have to make decisions on what to do, where to eat. And like I said before, it's a vacation. You want to be relaxed, not think about all that. If you go on a cruise, all you need is a suitcase. Food and entertainment are provided. In that video we watched, you guys could see different activities that were, now granted, carnival based, but you could see all the different activities. All right, what I need for you guys to do when you get home after class tonight is to log on to Carnival Cruise Line website and look around. Once you're on there, you're automatically 
going to want to book a cruise because it's going to interest you so much. A customer testimony, and I'll just highlight some of the areas, but with a cruise, it's not just your hotel room where you go and enjoy a variety of food, but it's also each day gives you a new place to visit. I love to explore the different islands I have been and learn about the culture and places. You pick your own cruises and destinations, what the ship has to offer. Not all the cruise ships are the same, not all the itineraries are the same, so you pick what meets your needs. And there's a wide variety, there's the Caribbean, there's Alaska, there's Hawaii, everything. So there's, there's something for everybody. If you guys are interested in cruises like myself, you can listen to cruise podcasts, like I listen to cruise radio on iHeartRadio, or the Cruise Dudes, or the Royal Caribbean podcast. Or there's a TV show sponsored by Carnival, but The Voyager with Josh Garcia. He goes all over the world to different islands on all the different ports that are accessible from all Carnival Cruise Lines, uh, different sister brands and what have you. And in conclusion, from what you've seen above, you have learned about a great cruise the next vacation will be. Now I'm asking you to go to carnival.com or go to Royal Caribbean or any other site and book your next vacation. Thank you.